So I'm back here at Adventureland in Des Moines, Iowa. Sort of. First time I've been here in 32 years. And yes, they do have park maps. So don't have to open my phone and go through that hassle every time I'm trying to find my way around. Just pull out a map. That's much more convenient. So early entry is at 8.30. They open the gates at 7.45 to allow us access to Main Street. So the architecture of the buildings and everything is obviously a little different than Adventureland. But there are so many similarities. Adventureland isn't even trying to hide it that they ripped off Magic Kingdom. But it's all good. So already got my virtual queue booked for Tron. Got in group three, so that'll be really early. So planning to rope drop Seven Dwarfs Mine Train, get it out of the way, and got a, a Space Mountain booked on my Genie Plus. So I'm holding nothing back on this trip. First time in 32 years, who knows when I'll ever be back. So might as well just go all out with it. Staying on site so I get the early entry. Although I still book the budget resort, the all-star. pretty cool certainly a family ride I knew that I wouldn't want to wait two hours for this though unless I didn't have the credit and that was the only option but I waited 10 minutes by rope dropping at an early entry so stay on site or a partner hotel that gets the early entry that's the way to do this I am in the group three booking we got called at 8 46 14 minutes before official park opening. During early entry, they had it ready. I've never seen Tron, but I haven't seen a lot of the movies that these rides are gonna be based on. There were some people that were wondering if they had group 12. They were wondering if that was gonna be like at the end of the day or something. I told them, no, he'll probably be in the first group of people. Since they call a bunch of groups all at once. So I walked right up and scanned right in. Ah, oh, there's not too many people there. But if you get an early group, I guess if you can show up early, especially with your early entry, they'll get you on real quick. Didn't take long at all. In fact, I think it was 10 minutes from the time I scanned and I was on the ride. As far as the night ride making it better, it would only be for this very first section that's outdoors. The rest of it is all indoors, so it doesn't matter day or night when you're in there. That initial launch definitely packs a punch. So the park's been open for 24 minutes officially, and I've already got one flat ride and two coasters. both of the big ticket items out of the way real quick or the biggest big ticket items so so far this has been an incredible success here this is one of their days where they're doing the not so scary halloween party after hours so they expect a smaller crowd because of uh, shorter hours during the daytime nine to six instead of normally being open till nine so a lot of people with just day tickets aren't going to come here on this day they'll come on a day with longer hours picked it. Zig when everyone else zags. I have a lightning lane for Space Mountain at 10 o'clock, but I think I'll just go ahead and go through the standby and get a couple rides on it. When I got in line, it was advertising a 15 minute wait. It only took five. So I did it twice and then it was time for my lightning lane. And what I had heard was true. If you want to get both sides of Space Mountain, you do have to get Genie Plus because the only way to go to that side is with the lightning lane through Genie Plus. So if you need both credits, you're gonna have to buy Genie Plus. You're gonna have to do the regular line and then use your lightning lane, then you got both sides. So my history with this ride, this was coaster credit number one 
when I was 12 years old, and I hated it so much. I didn't like coasters and thrill rides back then. Well, this isn't really a thrill ride, but it's on the verge of being one because it feels pretty intense in there. It feels a lot faster than it's than it's actually going. And you get some good air time. I was in row four, and then with my lightning lane, I was in row six, the back row. And that back row, that was rougher, but it also had way better air time. Row four also had really good air time too. So it seemed that the back gets the best air time. Don't know if I'll get a front row ride to compare. So since, that was coaster credit number one back when I was 12 years old and I have no clue which side I rode back then. I wanted to ride both sides just to make sure that I've done both. So I can, with integrity, add one coaster credit to my list by riding both sides of it. And so far, this has not been a busy day. Lightning lanes are not too far out. I'm about to use my second one. This thing I can see getting a long line, the speedway, so I booked it. I can get on it right now. It was five minutes till that lightning lane. It was 10 o'clock when I booked it and it was 10.05 for the lightning lane time. So once I scan in, then I can book something else. It might only save me five to 10 minutes, but why not? It's a good way to do it. I was able to walk right into the building on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger. So that went real quick, less than 10 minutes. And I did terrible. I am just no good at these shooting dark rides. Everyone else was in six figures. I was nowhere near six figures. The only one of those shooting dark rides I've ever done any good at is the Volcano at Lost Island. Here's a ride that has a lot of downtime, Barnstormer. I've noticed this broke down a lot whenever I've checked the app at home and it's been broke down today for about an hour, but it's open now. choose either side. See the scaffolding on Splash Mountain over there. Classic corny jokes, I love it. Jungle Cruise, I've only done this a couple times. When I was here 32 years ago and at Disneyland a few years ago, I used a Genie Plus Lightning Lane on it. So now I got an hour and a half till my next, till Peter Pan. I think I've made good use of the Lightning Lane so far. And I've done some of the smaller rides with short weights in between. What? 32 years ago, I chickened out of this ride, but I'm gonna do it this time. I've done much more intense rides than this since, but when I was 12, I wasn't riding anything that had any kind of thrill factor to it. I love the one in California. Only did one ride on it though, so it'll be hard to, it'll be hard to compare, hard to remember exactly what that did, but I remember it having air time. That Splash Mountain covered in scaffolding over there. really good. Don't know if it's better than Disneyland's. I still think Space Mountain's my favorite here. Tron was pretty good, but I think I give Space Mountain the edge. 
Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, not far behind. Actually, this may end up becoming my favorite. It has a long ride, nice rock work. It's got some airtime. I even grayed out a little bit on one of the helixes. I started to wonder. The line has disappeared. time favorites I did not get on this ride at Disneyland we didn't have time or I didn't have time I was doing a credit coaster my friend was doing Little Mermaid but I got to do it here and the Philhar magic show that might be my favorite thing at the park so far it's a 3d about 12 minute show they take songs from some of their more popular movies but actually standby for Peter Pan is only 40 minutes right now it was 70 minutes earlier well now I'm gonna park hop over to Hollywood Studios. But after this day here, Magic Kingdom's gonna be hard to beat. Especially a day like today, the nine to six hours, they're doing their Halloween party after hours event. The park closes for the rest of us at six o'clock, but then it stays open for them. But the crowds were really light for most of the day by their standards, of course. You go to some parks and you're walking on everything all day. You never get that here, but lines were quite short compared to how they usually are here. And you can see the people filling in who are probably part of the Halloween party. And I have two lightning lanes stacked up at Hollywood Studios. And actually, one is coming up here pretty soon. So I'm gonna have about an hour and a half to get over there and get on Aerosmith Rock and Roller Coaster. I should make it. And I got Slinky Dog Dash lined up for the last half hour. So it'll be a night ride. I was really hoping to get a night ride. I was thinking I was going to have to wait in line, in a long line at the end to get that, but I'm going to get that with Lightning Lane. Oh, my GoPro battery is getting pretty low. I should have invested in a second battery for this trip. I'll have to use my phone over at Hollywood Studios, which does not take as good a video, especially considering the shakiness when you're walking that GoPro stabilizes. This kind of makes me glad that I'm not going to the Halloween party. Although they're probably gonna have shorter lines once they get in. Although who knows, 